Right everybody, welcome to Project B3 Hybrid Frankenbike, where we're going to be trying to fit in uh, the petrol motor into this bike and have it as an electro petrol hybrid B3. So I've been doing a little bit of research about what we're going to need to do. Um, I am just going to be winging it as we go along, but what I need to do is I need to swap over the wheels, really. Let me spin the bike around, show you what we've got to work with here. So what I'm thinking is the wheel at the front here is going to take the sprocket for the motor. So that has to go on the back. So we can't have the electric motor and the petrol uh, motor on the back wheels together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap over the brake disc onto the front wheel and I'm going to put the electric motor onto the front. And so I'm going to need to reroute the power um, cable that runs the rear wheel back up and over into the front, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're just going to take off the battery pack, going to cut some of these cable ties that's holding everything on, because that's basically what holds everything in is <laughs> cable ties. So here we have our little battery. There we go. That's what gets everything running. And then in here, we've got, these are the ones these are the ones that go down to the motor. So we've got a block connector here, and we've got these three which have all been soldered in. And then we've got obviously the main, just the main power one there. That's basically it for this one. All the other bits run off to run in the light, uh, to run the throttle, to run the horn, all those bits and bobs through from that. And then we've also got the little motor in the back there, which again, we're gonna need to reroute. But let's work on just changing the wheels over today. That's all we're gonna be doing on this video is we're gonna be swapping over the wheels front to rear, wiring it back up again, and then see how it works with it running on the front wheel, okay? So we need to spin the bad boy over. So guys, if, you, uh, if you're liking the video so far and you're looking forward to seeing how it's all gonna uh, turn out, give us a thumbs up on the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done it, and as I say, leave a comment in the description below if you think I'm doing a stupid thing, or it's gonna be great, or any tips or ideas, or anything you think I may have overlooked. All the comments is gonna be great, because as I say, I've never done this before, and you guys are here to help me as well. So cheers for that, and um, we'll get on with the next bit. Right, so there we go. Right, so we've got the rear wheel here, and we've got the front wheel here. The front wheel is easy enough to take off, so let's just do that. We'll get the sockets. 16 mil. I'll we'll whip off this wheel. We need to change the inner tube anyway in the tire. It's gone flat for the thousandth time. So as you can see on here, we've got screw holes and everything in place that's going to take the disc, which is awesome. So we've got that one off, and then now we need to cut this cable tie. So what have we got? We've got 18 mil on the back here. So there we go, so we've got M2 bits coming out, but we do need to take off this back caliper. That's that off. So that's that. So there's all these bits off. So here's the wheel out. Here's the wheel out and off. So we're going to put this one on the front. Let's Move this out of the way first. I'm just going to check to see what the gap is like. The gap is larger on the rear wheel than it is the front wheel. Okay. Let's just have to spread it open a little bit, won't we? Okay, we're going to cut them. They're going back. We cut them. This just comes out here. Probably not going to go back in. We've cut the wires off. We had to do it. We just went straight and cut the wires off. And we've got the wheel. Right, it's perfect. So the wheel runs that way. So 
Okay, so what we also need to do quickly now is take off this disc and then we'll put this on here. Right, so this is the wheel. So just put the disc on the back wheel now. So hopefully that should sit in here. It's a bit wide. Obviously it's wider on the back when it's the front. So this one sits in here, goes forward, so we need to really get this in here. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and open it up. Enormous. Right, so there you go, I used the bottle jack. I've opened up the gap of the front forks quite a bit. Let's see how it works now. Yeah, perfect. Right, and what we'll do is we'll just Yeah, looks good to me. Looking good. So we're gonna have the motorized front wheel there, and then obviously we're gonna to need to once I need to reposition all of this anyway. But what I could do in the meantime is test it quick, couldn't I? See how it's working. Right. Right, there we go. So if we go. Green, green. Yellow and yellow. Blue and blue. Plug this back in. Plug the battery back in. That's obviously quite key. Right, so we've plugged all the battery back in, everything like that, turn the power on, let's see what happens. Yeah. Spinning pretty well to be fair, pretty flat. The tyre is the issue, not the actual wheel. There we go, so. Oh, the brake clearly did not work because there was no brake on the back. But what I need to do is try and work out how I'm gonna attach the sprocket to the back rear wheel. So let me get the sprocket out and we'll have a quick look at that. So here we have the wheel and here we have the sprocket. My thoughts was hopefully it was gonna go onto there, but slide on a bit further, but it's not. Mm. I could always take that to my mate's shop, get that board out a little bit bigger, but then really we do want it to keep a bit of distance away from the wheel as well, to be fair, don't we? So it's not right up against it. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's gonna to need to kind of be right on that end bit there. Right, so I'm just gonna just gonna rub down, bore down a bit of this edge here with my little angle die grinder that I've got here. Right, so here we've got the spring, the, the, the sprocket. I've ground this bit down, as I said before. Um, so this bit's gonna be going on here like that, okay? That's what's gonna be running it. And then I need to get this on the other side of it. So we've got to go through here, through here, through, through here, and then onto here. And we're about a centimetre too short. So I'm gonna to need to get some longer bolts. So when I get some of them, I'll be back to continue with part two. In the last hour or so, um, I had to change the wheel over because I did pull the brake and everything back together here, but um, the sprocket has to go on the left because the motor section of it is here, so it has to, the chain is gonna go on here, so that has to be like that. Um, so the caliper needs to go on the other side somehow, at some point. I've got the motor in, as you can see here. 
Um, I've had to cut off the lugs for the top and the bottom, which hold the surround on it. Um, and it fits, I knew it was gonna fit. It's like, it's like a perfect fit. Um, so I need to tighten these down. Um, we've got the air section here, which, which is hopefully gonna pop out the left a little bit. And the spark plug, again, is probably just gonna miss it, hopefully. Yeah, it's definitely taking shape. So the sprocket, they don't really line up too well. This is way far out. This needs to be in like quite a bit more, but I don't really know how we're going to do that. So we'll see how it works from where it is located now. Um, yeah, basically, but that looks pretty, pretty straight. Um, if we have the chain going across over here, my main issue is where the chain is going to go. It's going to bash straight onto, onto this, this cross member here. So if anyone's got any ideas what you think I can do, I don't really know, ow, I don't really know yet. So I think I'm gonna leave this part of the, uh, of the video here um, with the wheels have been swapped over and the motor is mounted and um, we've got the sprocket on the back and we're gonna to have to try and put all the other bits on the motor itself now and work out how all that's gonna, gonna work. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested to see how it goes, then please do like and subscribe and any comments or any ideas you think that I could do to help would be awesome. Um, it's been fun so far, but uh, I am looking forward to the next, the next bit and getting the motor all set up and, uh, and then getting it going from there. So, I'll catch you on the next one guys.